What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of My Summer Car. Today is the day that we finally get to compete in the rally race. In the previous episode, we got the Satsuma fully rally ready. So we got ourselves a GT Turbo now. We got a fresh new tune-up on her. Still rocking the, uh, the same steering wheel, the same gear shifter, but we now have a fire extinguisher, a roll cage, a racing harness, a four-point racing harness, and two bucket seats. So I think, theoretically, we should finish fairly strong. Now, we did manage to find some long coil springs, and you'll kind of notice the rear height is actually a little squattier than we're probably wanting for this rally race. So just, uh, just so we can, you know, save a little bit of time, I feel like it's probably in our best interest if we actually fill the van with certain supplies, certain things that we may need uh, in order to repair the Satsuma, say we get in a, a nasty wreck or something like that. I definitely want to make sure we have our tools. I, I certainly want to make sure we have a jack close by. Maybe some fuel canisters. I think these are actually empty. And then additionally, I might even bring these wheels just so we can have some spares in case a wheel falls off or something stupid. I don't, it's my summer car, so literally anything could happen. Can we even pick this thing up and put it in a van? I don't think we can do that. Not, not with the in-game tool set anyways. We may have to use the whole grab anything mod. Yeah, because that, that definitely isn't going to get chucked up in there. So let's do Alt-P. And then, yeah, there we go. Now we can really grab it. And then let's see how... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Can I Can I just put it like... It's clipping through the top. Hang on. Oh, God. Now I picked up the whole van. Oh, this is scary. <laughs> oh, this is... This is not good. Okay, I have it stuck right now um, inside the van, which is a problem that I don't... Oh, no. Hang on. I actually might have... Gotten it to work. I think it's it's still sticking out of the roof of it, but I mean, down here, it's it's doing okay. I guess the main thing that we should probably test is just make sure that it stays in the vehicle if we were to say get in it and and move it somewhere else. So where's my ignition here? There it is. Let's fire on up. Been a minute since we drove the old. Uh, I don't even know what this thing's called. <laughs> The old uncle's van, I guess. The blue van. Okay, we're gonna drop the handbrake, and let's just try to back it up. No. No, that is not working. Yikes. Okay, on second thought, here's here's an idea, right? Why don't we just put everything in our backpack like we usually do? Yeah, see, this is not... <laughs> that is not happening. Let's... Oh, we can't put that in our backpack, can we? Okay, there's another problem. Hang on, let me at least put it back on the floor. We'll see if it it can do that. I messed it up. I messed it up. The jack is not supposed to be lifted. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to work for us, chief. Okay, so the floor jack and I'm going to be honest, probably the van in its entirety. We're just going to scrap those ideas. Instead, I'm going to throw everything that we may need into our backpack, but I, I don't think we can put the... No, we can't put the floor jack in our backpack. We can put the car jack in our backpack. So I'm going to grab that. We'll grab all four of these wheelies over here. One, two, three, and four. And then I guess maybe the, the fuel canister, the gasoline fuel canister. We're going to be... I mean, it's right by Quavo's shop or near that area, so I don't think we actually need fuel. I'm going to leave that for right now. And then we shouldn't need this. That was only for the inspection, the initial inspection. Don't need any spray paint. We absolutely need to bring our ratchet and our uh, wrench set. God, my brain is just not firing on all cylinders today. Anything else? Oh, the coil springs, right. So we're going to grab both of those. That's the long versions of them. And then everything else I think can stay. We may also have to address our stats while we're out and about. So just to, you know, be preventative, I'm going to go ahead and grab a sausage. There we go. And then drinks, we can't really bring with us unless we wanted to bring the brewskis. I'm just going to make sure our thirst is, is good to go. We should be fine. You know what? We should be fine. Uh, could we fill the coffee cup with water? Doesn't matter, you guys. We are going for it. So the race isn't actually until tomorrow, I want to say. So I think I'm just going to head up that way now just so we can sort of mentally prepare ourselves for what's to come. So we're going to hop into Satsuma 
and uh, we'll head on over to Quavo's shop. See if we can't locate where the uh, the setup is gonna be. Bet she still runs like a dream. There she is. It's been a few days since I've been on here, so trying to figure out the controls again are gonna be a little weird. I don't know if the game just isn't performing as well as it usually does, or if I'm just too used to playing Grand Theft Auto now, but it, it doesn't look the greatest. Maybe I'm just mentally comparing the two. I, I have no idea. But we're gonna go ahead and hop out here now that we're at Quavo's shop, and then I need to figure out where the actual rally stage takes place. We're gonna be looking for some sort of a tent type deal out here. It may spawn over in front of the uh, vehicle inspection shop. I'm gonna go ahead and save, and then we'll just wait until it's the next day. Hopefully then things will start to start to spawn in here. Okay, only one minor oopsie so far. Before I saved and exited, I, I did forget to actually place down my backpack items onto the ground, so they're back. I went through and, and adjusted that, made some some corrections, so we got all of our all of our goods back. I spawned back in the first time, and I kid you not, there was one coil spring and I think like one wheel and then one toolbox, which really wasn't gonna do us any good. So we now have all of the things that we need back in our inventory. And I guess we'll just kind of cruise around in the Satsuma and try to find the location we're actually supposed to go to because much like other episodes we've done here, I didn't look up any information prior to actually just starting a recording today. So this is gonna be one of those trial and error ones, but uh, usually, you know, we have some fun doing these. So let's drive around, I guess. We'll see what there is to see. Let's do uh, some chase cam action. See, like visually, I don't know. I, maybe it is just because I've been playing too much Grand Theft Auto, but it looks horrible. <laughs> like it looks so bad today. I don't, like I said, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just getting my games confused now, but I feel like the frame rate is especially bad today for some reason. I don't know, hopefully, Hopefully it ends up going smoothly for us. All right, so let's see. Do we have anything in the field, potentially? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I see something. I think I see a tent. Hang on, we gotta hang a right up here at this, at this street. I'm pretty sure I see some type of tent over here. Let's see what we got. No, dude, it's definitely choppy. Oh, here we go. What the heck, dude? Yeah, this is it. Okay, this is the spot. In that case, I'm gonna use this dude's driveway as our uh, as our temporary stomping grounds. I'm just gonna reverse on up into here. There we go. We got uh, Quavo, I think, maybe, out on a bike. Kinda hard to tell who's who since everyone, you know, looks the same in town. All right, we're gonna go ahead and power her off. It's doing that weird, like, tilt thing that it, it used to do a whole bunch. I haven't seen that in, in quite a while. Hopefully it's okay. Sometimes if I pick the vehicle up and just put it back down, it it kind of sorts it out. But you can kind of see right here, it's just going up and down ever so slightly. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's fine. Let me let me just try to pick it up and put it down. It's not rolling anymore, so maybe that's maybe that's better. So I think a handful of people told me to maybe put the long coil springs in, the extended coil springs. So while we wait for the the booth over here. Or, Maybe it's maybe it's back in there. I don't actually know where the booth is, but while we wait for something to open up, I think we're gonna go ahead and just do a uh, little driveway coil spring install here. So we're gonna open up our backpack and let's just get our car jack and both of those coil springs. Oh, we're probably gonna need a, a ratchet set or spanner set. So we're gonna unfold our car jack so we can stick it underneath here, right on the pinch weld. Very important, you gotta get this thing right on that pinch weld or else, uh, your car is probably going to be toast. Let's try her out. We haven't used this thing since like the first few episodes, dude. We've been using the car jack every other chance we, we have had here. Size 13. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. All right. And we'll just get these lug nuts ripped out of here real quick. Like we could probably do this with the wheel on. I'm just going to try to do it as realistic as possible. So we're going to go ahead and remove that wheel. And we now have access to the coil spring. What do we have to do in order to get that thing out of there? Maybe remove the strut? Let's try to remove the strut. Looks like we have a size six. We can probably open up the uh, the trunk as well. That might 
Give us a little bit easier access to everything. Nope, that one says 12 now. Definitely, definitely says 12 now. Let's try this again. There we go. Okay, got that top one unscrewed. Is the bottom one actually six or is that 12? It might actually be six. <laughs> Incredible. There we go, there's one. And then I think, yeah, there were two on this. That's right. Okay, so now that we have that done, we can go ahead and dismount the, wow, <laughs> that was bad. The shock absorber. And then we can take out that coil spring. Let's make sure we uh, we get rid of that. So you can see this one is much, much shorter than the one we're about to throw in. Let's just put them side by side-ish if we can. You can see it's missing like a whole additional spring to it. Or a whole additional coil. You guys get what I'm saying. Let's throw this thing in and we'll see if it affects the ride height very much. So that's going to go right there. Excellent. And then we just need to put that strut back in. It already looks like a freaking monster truck compared to what we had before. So I'm, I'm really curious to see if it changes the, uh, the actual ride height. Okay. Wheel secure. Let's go ahead and drop the floor jack or the car jack. Oh, wow. You have to do this by rotation, by rotation. Oh, my God. You got to click it every time. Can you hold shift on it or something? No, it really does just suck that bad. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. So right out the gate here, I can see it. It kind of looks like a leveling kit, but is that reverse? Yeah, because for a, for a truck, they lift it two inches in the front so that it's it's level, right? Isn't that how that works? So this is the opposite. They're lifting it basically, well, we'll say two inches in the rear since it had some forward rake already, right? No, it had it had backward. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to get into the specifics. We just have to do this other side and then we should be finished up here. This side went so much quicker than the other. I guess that's just because we kind of knew what we were doing. We knew what sizes were what. So let's go ahead and drop this back down. We'll fold it back up. Just chuck that back on into our backpack. And then same thing with our tools and uh, and probably these other coil springs as well. We'll just put those back into our backpack. Awesome, dude. Okay, so do we have any, oh, we do have rally people over here. Or wait, is that Fleetari? That is totally Fleetari, you can tell. Oh, and we have other rally vehicles. Dang, 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 dang. Okay, so there's two more tents over there. Let's check with uh, with Fleetari. But you can tell it's him because of his, his feet. His feet are kicked up. He's got his, his piston head ashtray as per usual. All right, let's see. Junior SS1 registration, 500 marks. Wow, okay, I didn't know this cost money. Uh, maybe we should maybe we should save again and uh, and come back, especially now because we did so much work on the on the Satsuma already. So I'm gonna go ahead and empty my backpack so we don't do a, a dumb thing again. Okay, now that we've successfully saved, I'm feeling a, a little bit more confident about uh, about placing well in this rally race. But uh, we have our little pit area now placed down over here, so I got nothing in my backpack. Let's go officially talk to Fleetari, and we will sign up for the rally. So what do we have? We got our fire extinguisher, roll bar, four-point harness, tires. It's been inspected. We are ready to go. So Saturday from 10 to 18. Uh, that's Rally 1, and then we have Rally 2 from Sunday, 10 to 18. Okay, so that's just that's just the next day. I don't know what any of that means. I'm just going to... I'm just going to... You're required to wear... We need a helmet. Of course we need a helmet. Um, our helmet is, is back at home, so I guess I will see you guys here in just a moment. So the good news is I put my helmet on. Uh, the bad news is I don't know how to take it off. <laughs> Come on, why can't they just why can't they just make this stuff easy? Oh, remove helmet. I just have to look down at the ground, I guess. There it is. Okay, I literally I had to wear this that whole time. That was very very annoying. But we have our helmet. Let's come back over to Fleetari. We'll see if he's like, oh yeah, now that you have your helmet, we're uh, we're cool. So let's go ahead and put that back on our on our dome on our dome piece, and let's see if we can sign up now. There we go, Barry McCockner has signed up. Drive slowly to the starting area. Okay, and then I did read somewhere that you can actually remove your helmet for the race, just so we don't have anything obstructing our view, and I'm definitely gonna do that. The helmet's just a, a safety requirement, you know, anyways. So, we're gonna leave that there. Won't be needing that where we're going. Oh, and then look at this. Hey, that's new. Gotta do it. 
You know what? Got to do it. Got to get them screenshots. It's the only way to get a good thumbnail of this game. But we can go ahead and put our handbrake down. Let's buckle up. Let's start her up. Should we wait until it's idling properly? Or should we just, you know, go for it, basically? I'm feeling like we should just go for it. All right. Here we go. Drive slowly to the starting area. I'm going to do just that. See, visually, it's still, like, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like there's some problems here. Wait, is this the starting area? I don't actually know where the starting... Oh, it's the red signs. It's the red signs. Okay. Let's come up to the start spot then. Is this... What does this say? Okay, that's the time trial spot. So we're, we're entering the area now. Probably got to come up to where this dude's standing. All right, get ready. Okay, is it gonna count us down? Oh no, the suspension's doing that thing again. Okay, yeah, I probably have, oh, four, three, two, one. I guess we're out of here. Okay, this is it. First take. Our first take at the rally, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do my very best to keep the car on course throughout this entire thing. That is my main objective. We're not going for speed. No, no, that's too obvious. Ooh. Okay, something is up with the car, though. I probably should have picked it up and put it back down again. We're good. We're good. Don't even worry about it. We're fine. Everything's fine. Nothing fell off the car, right? God, the suspension is so weird now. At least, I think with the, uh, the raised... Stop doing that! <laughs> I think with the raised coil springs, it actually makes it handle worse. Um, but bumps maybe aren't as bad or won't damage as much. I have no idea, but this thing is nuts. It is all over the place. This is the squirreliest drive we have been on yet. And I still don't really understand the, the routes that we're supposed to be taking. So this is, this is good all around. This is a, a good thing. <laughs> Here we go, dude. I don't know to Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I don't know if I should be like trying to talk over this or if any of this is even going to be included. I could just keep it an uncut rally too. That might be what most of you are looking for. Holy crap, dude. These hills. What is with these hills? Okay, we're making some really good time, I feel like. Holy crap. Okay, the vehicle did tip over. The vehicle has fully tipped over. <laughs> don't don't freak out. I'm freaking out a little bit. I am freaking out a little bit. Okay. Don't freak out, though. Don't freak out. It's good. It's good. These things happen. You know what? I kind of wish I had, like a, like, a pit crew to help me out, but since we're the Hulk, it doesn't even matter, dude. It doesn't even matter. We're flipping the whole thing over. Definitely lost our trunk. Let's get this door shut. We got stuff flying out of the Satsuma over here. Okay, this door is not opening properly. Can we get in still? Come on. Oh no. Oh no. Can you... Can you open? No, oh, this is not good. Okay, we're gonna have to get in the vehicle from the other side. Come on. Open all the way up. Let me in. There we go. Close that door. Enter driving mode. Let's make sure we buckle up. Drop the handbrake back down. Okay, I think we are ready. Let's head back out. We gotta get back on course, dog. Small, small little problem. Small little issue, but we're not gonna let it determine how we finish this race, dude. <laughs> what is this? It's like, as soon as you get off the road, even just a little bit, it is the bumpiest, oh my God, just uncontrolled. I can't even steer. Most uncontrollable ride ever. I wonder if we're gonna finish okay even having a couple of little bobbles like we already have, but I've seen the other, whoa, that's not good. I've seen the other rally racers, um, you know, driving around doing this race on the, on the weekends where we haven't partaken. Stay on course. My god, it's not hard. Um, and they're really fast. Really fast, and they go really straight, which we are not doing. Not doing either one of those things. But we're just going to keep following 
wherever this this taped off route or route goes. Oh, okay, and then up here. Oh, I still have my mini map off, dude. Hang on, hang on. Sorry, we're passing by Fleetaris. Um, okay, I was gonna try to turn on my mini map so I could maybe just figure out where we're going, but that requires two hands. So we're just we're not gonna do that. Please stop. Oh my god, dude. I knew it was going to be rough, but I didn't know it was going to be this rough. And I even think I hear... Yeah, I hear another rally car behind us. And they are gaining very, very quickly. Yep, there they go. Okay. Okay. Completely rear-ended us. Are you kidding me, dude? How am I supposed to... Oh my god. How am I even supposed to continue? After this, after something like that has happened. For real? For real? Dude just came up from behind and completely took us out. Look at that. We're missing our bumper. Our trunk is gone. Our hood, our fender. I mean, our fuel tank is right here. Yeah, there, we, we're done. We're done. We can't continue looking like this, dude. And on that complete and utter disappointment, I do think I'm going to wind things down here. We're going to have to give the rally another shot another day. But nonetheless, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.